I was waiting for this, and I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> the debut album by now former Disney Channel star Olivia Rodrigo, although, yeah, you can definitely tell she's former Disney star because I highly doubt Disney would let someone say fuck in their songs when they're singing, just saying. Um, but yeah, I had heard Driver's License and Deja Vu and was very intrigued as to what Olivia Rodrigo could bring to the table, and right away, I think we saw that on the opener, Brutal, which gives kind of more of a pop rock aesthetic teetering on the edge, I guess, of what you would call pop punk nowadays. Like, it's pretty interesting. Like, I would love to see her tackle a full album doing that, unlike the MGK bullshit. I think she could really pull it off, and that obviously was one of my favorites. Then it goes right into Traitor, which I think does a great job. She basically sings about a boyfriend, I guess, of the past who didn't necessarily cheat on her, but she's just kind of upset that when they broke up, he moved on quick, like, within a couple of days, and sees that as, like, you know, being a traitor, I guess. Driver's License, Deja Vu, again, great songs. I don't think I have to keep reiterating myself there. Good For You is the one, is another, I guess, uh, pop rock track is what you would call it. Now, I can see where the comparisons to a certain Paramore song come in for Misery Business, mainly because of the lyrics overall, but we gotta stop calling every female singer that does something remotely rock, we gotta stop comparing them to Paramore and Haley Williams. We, we just have to, like, there's more rock stars out there who are female than just Haley Williams or Avril Lavigne. I'm just saying that. Still a good song anyway, and I do see the lyrical comparison to what Misery Business is. Happier is also a great song. Jealousy, Jealousy, and Hope You're Okay, which is the finale. I think this song is to somebody else. Maybe she has like a sibling or something, and she's basically just like checking in is basically what that song is, so it does its job. Then we have the OK tracks, One Step Forward, Three Steps Back, and Favorite Crime. I don't know, those two weren't necessarily memorable to me, but they did an all right job of doing something. And the only song I disliked was Enough For You. This one was about Olivia, I guess, again, a former boyfriend where she did everything for him and he just didn't treat her well and moved on to someone more exciting, as she puts it. But again, I think this was the least memorable of the songs. They just didn't have enough for me to, again, really see it as anything more than just a filler track on the album. But that's okay. When we're talking about an 11-track album and only one of the songs feel like filler, you can definitely tell that she did a good job here mixing this... <laughs> I don't know what that was, Jesus Christ. But yeah, mixing this pop rock sound in every so often with this more kind of, I don't even know if you can call it indie, it's definitely something, like I said, I think like <clears throat> songs like Driver's License and whatever, I compared to more of what like Phoebe Bridgers has done over her albums, maybe Olivia Rodrigo has a little bit more, <clears throat> um, you know, loudness to her music than Phoebe Bridgers would, but it's teetering on the edge of that, which is again okay, because Phoebe Bridgers has two phenomenal albums out herself, but yes, for a debut record, Olivia Rodrigo really did a good job here, and it's... I have a new favorite artist, that's really all I have to say, or at least a new favorite pop artist to really enjoy and talk about and anticipate for the next release because she didn't try to do what a lot of pop artists do and bloat this album with 18, 20 songs to, you know, introduce herself. She kept it simple down to 11 short and sweet songs that really do their job for what the album is, I guess, themed about. So, yeah, 8 out of 10 with this one would recommend and could be, just potentially could pull off the upset for album of the year, but again we're only in May, so take that with a grain of salt, but this has to be at least top three right now from albums that I've heard this year. It's been a slow year, but this one has to be top three. I don't think I really found myself bored at all or like phasing out with anything. It was what I was hoping it was, and that was an intriguing listen that left me wanting more. So, yeah, 
good job for her. Now I want to know your guys' opinions in the comments below. What do you think of this album? And until then, stay safe out there, wear your mask, get vaccinated, and I will catch you all in the next one.